Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Arti and this is Arti. Today's class is all about flexibility. So today we are going to work on our lower body and today we are going to create some space in our inner thighs. And this is a very nice, gentle, relaxing sequence. You can practice this sequence in the morning or you can practice in the evening as per your wish. Just keep that nice 2-3 to three hours distance between your heavy mills and your yoga practice. And now wear some nice comfortable clothes, get on your mat and let's get started. Alright everyone, welcome back and sit here in Sukhasan and place your hands on your thighs, keep your spine straight so your hip bones, your spine, your neck and your head, they all are in one line. As you sit here nice and tall, interlock your fingers behind your back just like this and slightly take your chest out. Imagine someone is pulling your hands and taking it towards the mat and here feel that nice stretch here on your spine and exhale bend forward. Just like this go down, go down, go down. Bend forward as much as you can and gently come back to center. Keeping your spine straight and come back to center. So we kind of just, you know, activating our body here and everyone now join your feet. Join your feet, hold your toes and let your thighs drop towards the mat. Keep your spine straight and then in this Vata Konasan leg position, Keeping your spine straight, go down, press down your thighs more towards the mat with your elbows and go down. If you are here, if you are here or if you can just all the way down, it's okay. It's your journey and wherever you are in your journey, it's perfectly fine. And go down as much as you can, stay there. Feel that nice stretch on your inner thighs, can you feel it? Just stay there. And gently come back to center. And now turn to any one side. And now spread your legs in front of you. So keep your legs apart. This is mat level distance. And keep mat level distance between your feet. Feet are parallel to each other. And now gently place your palms behind. Sit here comfortable. And slightly arch back if you want. Otherwise, just sit comfortable here and inhale, exhale, drop your right leg, right knee on the mat. Inhale up, exhale down. Only your right leg is moving, keep doing it. And we are, we are taking right knee towards the mat. Inhale up and exhale down, keep doing it. Can you feel that nice stretch on your right leg now? Feel it, enjoy it. This is a nice, yummy, delicious stretch. Today's class is a flexibility class. We are kind of creating that space here in our inner thighs, creating more space here without fighting with our body. And gently come up, same thing on the other side. Inhale here and exhale, drop your left knee on the mat. Feel that nice stretch on your left leg now. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and now drop your both the legs on the left side and you sit here just like this keeping your both the legs Kind of 90 degree, it's okay if you're not able to keep 90 degree. As you sit here, adjust your body on your left hip, keeping your right hip in the air. And once you settle down here, this is my right palm. So we place our right palm inside, left palm outside. And then we lean forward. As you lean forward, inhale, lift your right thigh up. Exhale down. Only our right leg is moving up and down. Exhale down and inhale up. Keep doing it. 
So many of us nowadays work from home. So we are creating some space here by stretching our legs up and down, practicing some yoga postures to make our body flexible. Up and up, up and up. And now come up, take your hand position, open your wings here, time to fly, not really, but as you keep your hands here, thumbs up. And now press down your both the legs more on the mat so that you will get that nice support. We keep our spine straight here, inhale and exhale down. Keep your spine straight. So we are not looking for um, more movement here. We are not going all the way down. So just from here, bend forward a little bit. Hold yourself here. Inhale up. Exhale down. How does it feel? So keep uh, noticing how your body is reacting to this movement. Up and down. Does it feel good? If it is feeling good, take a note of that so that if you are starting your self-practice, self-yoga practice, it will help you. You can practice this asana in your self-practice. So as you start observing your body, as you start noticing your body, how your body is reacting to a particular movement, then you can build that self-awareness. And now release your hands. Come back to center. Come back to center everyone. And same thing on the other side. For demonstration purpose, I'm just shifting my side here. Same thing on the other side. Drop your legs. Drop it nicely. And adjust your body such that you are now sitting on your right hip. And now place your palms down. Lean forward. One palm inside, one palm outside. Inhale up, lift your left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. It's a nice, yummy, delicious stretch. If you are someone who is into running, who is into other exercises, you can do this <coughs> as a nice stretch. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Keep doing it and then gently place your left leg on the mat. Come up. Take your hand position, pointing your thumbs towards the ceiling. And when you are ready, inhale here, exhale down. Small movement. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. One last time. Exhale down and gently release your legs in Paschimottanasana leg position. Spread your legs in front of you just like this. Hands by your side. As you place your palms on the mat, keep your spine straight. Shoulders relax and see if you can lengthen your spine. And pressing down your hip bones nicely on the mat, point your toes towards the ceiling. If your legs are lifting up, Press down your thighs, your knees more on the mat. And now those who can go straight and touch your toes, you can do that. Others whose body is not that open up enough, we are not going to fight with our body. What we are going to do is, we just bend our knees. Bend your knees and see if you can now touch your or hold your big toes. So with your right hand, hold your right big toe. With your left hand, hold your left big toe. And when you feel like, straighten up your one one leg here. And now, the goal is not to take our forehead to the knee. The goal is to take our forehead towards our ankles and chest towards our thighs. So, chin up, chest up. Look in front of you. Inhale and exhale. Keeping your spine straight, bend forward. Take your crown towards your ankle. Stay. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Keep breathing everyone. No fighting here, no pushing and pulling. Just stay here. Trying to make that connection with our breath as we inhale and exhale. 
and now release your hands keep your hands straight inhale raise your hands up exhale turn your palms and take your hands back on the mat and now everyone turn to any one side and lie down on your back turn to any one side and lie down on your back nicely so whenever we just lie down on our back so what happens our lower back starts lifting up and if that happens then sometimes the asanas which we practice they are not in alignment so what we going to do here is we going to just kind of press down our lower back more on the mat and rest our entire spine nicely on the mat and now straighten up your both the legs one by one as you just settle down here and now inhale raise your right leg up it's okay if you are not able to keep your right leg straight if it is something like this it's fine hold your right thigh just like this hold your right thigh and see if you can now straighten up your right leg look at your right big toe see how it's beautiful and then very slowly gently without lifting your neck without lifting your shoulders look at your right big toe and try to keep your right leg straight now stay here today's class is a flexibility class and we are going to talk working on our body to make it flexible using yogic way stay here and now bend your right leg place your right foot on your left thigh behind left knee and now spread your right hand here on the mat on the floor inhale raise your left hand up place your left palm on your right thigh and drop your right knee here on the opposite side turn your head to right side stay here if you want more stretch here what you can do is you can kind of try to place your right shoulder more on the mat you will feel nice twist here can you feel it stay and breathe couple of deep inhalation and exhalation here keep breathing feel that nice stretch and gently come back to center come back to center everyone and raise your right leg inhale raise your left leg up first hold your left thigh just like this and very slowly and gently try to straighten up your left leg and start looking at your left big toe and stay here try to kind of take your left leg towards your chest if you can stay here and now gently bend your left leg place your left foot on your right thigh behind right knee spread your left hand here i don't have enough space but if you have enough space spread your left hand here inhale raise your right hand up place your right hand on your left thigh and drop your leg to the right side and turn your head to the left side feel that nice twisting here if you want you can close your eyes stay and breathe and gently come back to center come back to center everyone and now hold your left leg ardha power muktasana hold your left leg with your hands and your entire body is nice and stable here only your hands are moving and your hands are taking your left leg towards your chest on your left toes gently release your left leg bend your right leg at the knee hold your right leg with your hands and take it towards your chest you might feel some compression on your stomach which is fine and we stay here and now hold your right leg bend left leg again and 
Hold your bota like, like this, taking it towards your chest, your stomach. And see if you can swing from left to right. Swing from left to right everyone. Giving that nice gentle massage to your spine. And now gently come back to center and hold your big toes with your hands. And you hold your big toes, open your legs like you are opening a book and come in happy baby pose. This asana is called as happy baby pose, which means Ananda Balasana. Have you seen babies under 6 months something? They kind of stay in this kind of position <laughs> with a gentle nice smile on their face. So in this happy baby pose, if you don't mind, let's bring that gentle smile on our face. There is nothing serious here, no fancy business. Very simple and basic asanas to open up our body to increase that flexibility here. And now with your hands, see if you can take your knees towards your armpits so that you are kind of opening this part more and putting more stretch here, increasing that stretch. Happy baby pose, everyone. <laughs> and now those who want to explore more, you can swing from left to right, giving that nice yummy delicious massage to your spine in happy baby pose, touching your knees on the floor. Very slowly and gently. And gently come back to center, release your legs and keep your legs in this position. Lifting your legs up, keep your legs in this position and interlock your fingers behind your neck. Open your chest here, open your heart. Don't be scared, don't be scared to open your heart. And now inhale, lift your right leg up. And as you inhale and lift your right leg up, wrap your right leg around your left leg. And we drop our legs to the right side. Turn your head to the left side. If this is too much for you, what you can do is you can simply keep your both the legs together and drop it on the right side just like this. Okay, two options. Select whichever you want as per your body. And gently come back to center. Release your legs. Now, other side. Raise your left leg up. Inhale and wrap it around your right leg. Drop it on the floor, on the left side. I don't have much space here. And turn your head to opposite side. Stay there. Feel a nice twist here. Keep breathing. Gently come back to center and release your legs. Release your legs everyone. And those who are comfortable, you can do this with me. Others, first watch and see if you can do this with me. If you cannot do this, then what you can do is you can simply turn to any one side and come and sit in Sukhasana or any folded leg position on your mat. So what I'm talking here, you hold your knees and start making this nice movement here. Swing your body just like this, up and down a couple of times here. Up and down. One last time, come up and stay there. Come up and gently come back to center. And sit in Sukhasana everyone. This is a folded leg position which is called as Sukhasana. And for the demonstration purpose, I sit here. And here, raise your right leg. Place your right ankle on your left thigh. And you will come in this position which is called as Swasti Pasan. So as we are working on our lower body to increase flexibility, inhale. Raise your hands up. Exhale, bend forward, place your palms on the mat. And walk forward with your palms, taking your forehead towards the mat. Feel that nice stretch on the right side. Go, down, go down as much as you can. No need to 
be scared or no need to you know do push and pull wherever you are just stay there hold that position keep your breathing on take nice refreshing breaths here and gently come up walk back with your hands and gently come up and now change your leg position left leg on right thigh behind right knee inhale raise your hands up exhale bend forward go down and stay there keeping your spine straight taking that nice refreshing breaths here stay there in breathe and gently come up walk back with your hands and come back to center and now everyone as you sit here in sukhasan relax your legs and sit in sukhasan this folded leg position gently let's place our hands in namaste on our heart take a nice deep inhalation here bring that gentle smile on your face if you are feeling good after this nice relaxing sequence to increase our flexibility and close your eyes as you close your eyes relax your tongue relax your eyebrows relax back of your neck relax your spine no need to hold anything here now we will chant om once feel free to chant with me or just listen to my chanting inhale Om Feel the vibrations of Om in your throat in your body around you bow down gently come back to center rub your palms place your palms on your face feel the energy Open your eyes and cup off your palms. Blink your eyes and gently slide down your hands. Thank you so much for joining me here. And if you like this video, you can save this video somewhere so that you can practice it whenever you want to. And I want you to give this invitation to join my online classes. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you, everyone, in my next video. Namaste.